Hi, this is Dana with Designs by Dana. And no, we're not going to make this baby. I'm still critiquing this one. I think I'm going to have to make a little thicker bottom for my baby. I'm going to try it on her tomorrow when she comes back and see what all I need to do. So I can make a little video on this later. What we're going to be working on today it's a booty a little higher up that's the problem I'm having with my baby girl right now is I need something to draw string it closer to her um, ankle why isn't this one pulling did I put it in the wrong place I think I put it in the wrong place alrighty that's good to know because it's supposed to draw string. Oh, well, guess why it's not draw stringing? Because I didn't weave it through yet. Once you weave it through, <laughs> then it will draw string. Oh, that was too funny. I was trying to figure out what did I do wrong. I've made quite a few of them, as you see, using up my little balls of yarn. But just something to come up around the ankle a little bit more to stay on a little better. What I have been doing is um, making a lot for my craft shows and bagging them up in all of my scrap yarn. So she's past this age now, past a newborn. She's going to be in three months into this month. This is uh, April. So what I have yo I'm using. To insert in my booties are I cut saving my paper towel rolls and my toilet paper rolls and I take these and I insert them into the shoe into the booty and it kind of helps form it put them in a little ziploc bag kind of cute idea what you think? Now this one will probably have some lace around it. I left some openings here where I can run some lace around it. String, whatever. And you can just go crazy with them. So I'm just going to give you the basic. I'll give you a couple of few little hints along the way. It'll be all of 20 minutes. I'm using a G. I see people always do this. I said I'm not going to do that. But it's a G. And I'm starting out with a slip knot. And I'm getting rid of my 2 inch tail in that. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm doing 10. And then I choose not to go along the side and around. I choose to go in the back bump. This is the wrong side, and these are the bumps. And that gives me a cleaner bottom. So I'm going to half double. I'm not going in the first one, I'm going in the second one with a half double all the way down. Now, if you've chosen to do more chains to make the booty a little larger, I will not give you counts. So that way you can work with us. What I do here is I go down to the very last one. And when I get to the last one, I put in five. That's going to help me turn the corner of the front of the booty. Alright, so we're at the last one. And I'm going to put in five. You say five. I say, yep, five. You can get five in there. Two. Three. Four and five. Then we're going to go back down, and when we're going back, I go into the front and the back loop. I go into both stitch, both loops, and I'm doing half double. And I go down to the last three with a half double. So you could choose to do 
8, 10, 12, 13. So I'm at the last three. So I'm going to put an increase here. An increase is just putting two of the same stitch in one. And I'm going to increase in the next one. And then the last one I'll just do a regular half double. And then I will slip stitch in that first one to close it off. Then I will chain one and I will go on that same one with an increase on this side and an increase on this side. Then I'll take it all the way down to where my curve is, one, two, three. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you know why that is? No, so I want to do one, two, three, four, five. I want to have ten at that end because I had five when I started. So I'm going to go down to two, four, six, eight, ten. Right. So on this one, I will do. Two, four till I have ten, six, eight, and ten. All righty, looking good. Then I will go down to the last three with half doubles. There's the last three, so I'm going to do an increase, increase, and no increase. And then I'm going to slip stitch it into the first one. That's done. So that's how it looks. That was that one I had weaved in and out of there. I'll get rid of that now. Keep my stuff clean. That's the back. It looks really nice. No holes or openings. Now, this is going to be my bottom. And then to create that line right there, I'm going to go into a back loop of the stitch. And that's going to create by leaving that front loop out. And that helps turn my booty. And you can do this with all of your booties. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to still stay with the half double. And I'm going to go in that first one and I'm going to choose to go into that back loop. There. With a half double. And all of them all the way around. If you split your yarn, pull it out, and do it again. This is regular four ply. This feels like maybe Quran. I remember I had a big uh, pounder made a purse out of this, so I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Quran always feels a little thicker than Red Heart. So we're going to do, and I'm not giving you any counts on this because. You may be choosing to do an infant or a larger toddler. So it would be your choice. And like I told you before, if you take, and I'll wait till I finish and then I'll show you the measurement. Wait till I finish this round. Is my camera wobbling because I'm pushing my table? I'm sorry. All right, and you can see it curling already just by going in the back loop. All right, we're coming around the corner. When we come 
slip stitch it together there we go see there and that measurement I was telling you about you find out what size that baby is that's the bottom of the foot just a little over three and a half and that was with we did ten so maybe I might have done 11 or 12 if I wanted to bring it out to 4 inches. And it just depends on your tension and your hook size that you choose. Alright, so now I'm going to do chain 2. I don't know why my phone is doing that. Shouldn't. That's my private line. No one should be calling that line two and I'm gonna do double crochets around to my top uh, the top of the toe and once I get up there I'll show you what we're gonna do because I'm not gonna give you any counts on this in case you're doing you've chosen a different size this is just your basic to give you an idea you could actually do half doubles with this Okay, now I'm right at the point where I call this my toe point, right here where I want that pretty, pr pretty edge. So to know what I'm doing, if I, I'll count now how many I've done: one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've done twelve. So over here, I want to go. 12 from that point here to make it even with that one so I'll know where to stop on that side so I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so that's my 12 point now you can use any kind of little scrap yarn I just happen to have some pieces over here that I just cut off of that when I was making that and I'll just stick that through there for now so I'll know that's where I'm at so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches that I'm working with. So what do I want to do with those nine? So my choice is going to be, I'm going to do a triple. So I'm going to yarn over, pull up, drop off two, and I'm going to leave those three on there. Yarn over twice, go into the next one, drop off two, and leave those three on there. Yarn over go into the next one drop off two and then I'm going to yarn over and go through all of them that's going to create a little design then I'm going to go into the one that I ended with with a triple drop off two triple go into the next one drop off two triple into the next one drop off two so I got three of them there. I'm going to drop off all of them a little tighter. Then I'm going to go back in the same one with a triple. Drop off two. Drop off two. And drop off two. There's three more. I'm just trying to make a little design, that's all. Go into the same one. Drop off two drop off two and drop off two okay and come through all of them pull it tight then right there where my marker is we started with a double I'm going to end with the double all right I'm turn it inside out and look and see how it's looking and it's just created its own little style right there see there I'm cute. All right, and then I, I'm going to go back in that same one that I just finished, and I'm going to finish off to the end with my double crochets. And I'm going to slip stitch when I get to the end of the round. I'm at the end of the round and I'm going to slip stitch 
into that first one, not into the chain two. Oh, isn't that cute? Wouldn't that look cute as a moccasin? And then you would go around maybe here and uh, decrease a little bit to pull it in and make it a little tighter. Or even go to a smaller hook with singles and tighten that in. Or actually take a chain stitch and crisscross it like this down. That would be really cute. There's just so many little things, ideas that you can do with just a basic, 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 basic. So I'm going to chain up one. This time I'm going to do half doubles, I think. I think that's kind of cute. And then I'm going to go into the first one. And then I'm going to skip one every time because I want to bring it in a little bit. Skip up until I get up to the top where my design is at. And remember, we're creating this shoe as we go along. So when I get done with this video, I'll just rewind it. And um, now when we get into that very first design there, let's do, we're doing half doubles. Let's do yarn over because we're skipping one. And we're going to pull up a loop and drop off two, yarn over, go into the next space, pull up a loop, drop off two, yarn over and go through all three. I'm still creating here. I'm going to go back in the same one, drop off two, go into the next one, pull up a loop, drop off two, And I think I'm going to pull it through all three. I'm going to go back in this one. Pull up a loop. Drop off two in the next one. Drop off two. And go through all three. Go back in that one. One. Two. And I think I'll do this one. So it'll be even. That's four. Okay. And then go back in that same one with a double, completed double, and nope, changed my mind. That wasn't a double, that was a half double. Come into that same one with a half double, and then half double out. And that should be pretty even with design. And we're not going to really half double out because remember we're skipping every other one as we're creating here as we go along. So I went in the same one so I have to skip. And the reason I'm doing the skipping is because I'm pulling the shoe in. I'm framing the shoe as I go along. I don't want it to be too fat and bulky. going to fasten slip stitch it close okay now I've brought it in I'm gonna look at it oh that's kind of cute push that out there all right something doesn't look like it wants to act right there is that good all right pulling it in a little bit there we go all right you could actually stop there if you wanted to and uh, weave in some ribbons or you could put some chain stitches going around like this all the way around and weave in some things what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to a double crochet because I want some height right there so let's try that let's chain up two and let's do doubles in every stitch and it should come in pretty good but I'm gonna go every four I'm gonna do what's called a decrease and this decrease is so there's no hole in there like those so I'm gonna go into the next one I'm gonna pull up drop off two not complete it and go to the next one so that there won't be a hole in that spot because I want to 
I'm framing that side. I'm bringing it in just a little bit. So that was one decrease. Now I have to remember, I want to do a decrease over on that other side there too, right? So I squeezed it together, go over here, and pull up a marker so that I can remember when I get over there. What is that marker telling me? That marker is telling me something when I get over there. That means I'm going to have to do a decrease on that side too. So here we are, back up at the top. So I'm going to come down to a half double because this is this front part of the foot where I'm pulling everything in. So I'm just going to go on every stitch with a half double. And you can do the same thing. You just have to make sure that you write down what you do so that your second shoe will look the same way. Right now, I just have the video that I get to use coming around here. All right, I'm in the front. That's good. And now I can go back. It's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go back to my double now. Double, double. And then right here, I'm going to do one, one, and then finish it off so that my decreases are on the same side. And then that just gave it height. The only reason I went to that, I'm going to put a stitch in there near the back double crochet in there really close up on my edge so I have enough stitches. Alrighty. There we go. Looks good. Got enough room in there. It's going up pretty high. And you can play with yours. I just wanted to have more room and then I'm going to go around I'll show you what I did on the other one. I took this and I chained out 50. 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 5, I did 50, and then I cut it, pulled up a knot, took a smaller hook, weave my uh, tail in, or you can put it on a, um, Use a needle, tapestry needle. Couldn't think there for a minute. I just normally weave like this with my with a smaller hook size, and just weave it in and out, and then I clip my ends. Or sometimes I'll take some glue and put some glue glue on it so that way when I wash it, my tails don't pop out. There's just so many things that you can do. I'm just giving you a couple of different ideas. So I'll keep weaving. Then when I get so far, I turn and go back the other way just to kind of lock it in. clip it. Okay. Then I'll take this and I'll go through how do I want it high or low? So I think I'm going to go down low, get a bigger hook. So it'll capture more around the ankle, around the base of the foot, and then I'll just weave this in and out my spaces okay 
and then this is going to become my drawstring for my booty. I just thought that was a cute idea so I wouldn't have a lot, a lot of strings and just different things that you could do. So I'm finding my way around. When I get to this most creative part right here, I'm going to go up with mine. I don't want it to be too far down in there. So I'm going to weave it in and out there and here. And just has a cute idea. The bow could be up at the top and you get to put two and weave them up here and then tie it at this end too. It's just so much you can do. Get creative, have fun, have them make them a wardrobe of clothes. Come on down. All right, come on back down here. When you pay attention to the detail, that's what takes the time. Actually making the booty is 20 minutes for a booty, really. And I could do it faster than that if I wasn't talking. get back here and I'll come back up a little bit there we go all right now there's the little booty and then when you pull it close on their feet on their foot see there now this one might have needed more than 50 so you know I did 50 on this one right I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough to make a tie, but I did. Okay. I have enough. Might need a little bit more. Do a little bit more. There we go. Isn't that cute? Now I have to watch the video to make the, the next one. And then I buy my little, get my little cardboard inserts and stick them in there like that. Wow, cute, 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 I like it. Well, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something, and I hope you can see where you can go with this. This bottom right here is actually the same as this bottom. Yeah, and um, I even have some that I had some real thick rope, uh, silky rope, and I made the bottom rope black rope and the top white a beautiful top closure like this one and the black bottom was black and this was all white then I had some lace running through it and tied up the back of the ankle so cute so cute for a client but you can just get very creative so I hope you enjoy that and you can just go anywhere with them you don't have to put a string on them here you can weave some lace through there and I just have all kind of varieties of them. And this will be my tease. So until next time, enjoy. And this will be my Trinity collection. All my booties will be inspired by my grandbaby. And thanks for watching. And I guess I could say hi to you today. Thanks for watching. And uh, hit subscribe, like and make comments. Be blessed.